Does social media stress you out? It doesn't have to. Check out this week's social media tips and tricks with Heather. That was easy. Yay. Welcome to Social Media Wednesday. I'm Heather, your host, and I absolutely love doing this. I'm so excited because we are recording for the month of June. And in June, we are focusing on Facebook, which is my comfort zone. So I'm really excited to dig in and learn something new about my comfort zone so that I don't stay in it, right? Because that's always what we're doing is pushing those, those comfort zones. So I'm very excited about... Um, what are we doing about Facebook for business basics? And let's just jump on in. Do, 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 do. All right. So the first thing we need to do is remember that Facebook is a marketing tool. So our, our mindset around going to Facebook for the socialization part has to shift. So you're using it as a business tool. So that's what we're going to talk about, using it as a business tool. And if you use it as a business tool and you use your daily method of operation um, that we've talked about in the past, and we will re-talk about that today a little bit, um, you will you will start to see the difference in your business growth and it's very exciting. It gets very, very exciting. So this is where I am good. So um. Um, I'm not going to reiterate things that we've talked about in other episodes. So the first thing to do is set up your business page. Um, if you haven't done that already, we talked about that in um, episode eight. So back in February. So um, we're going to link um, the link below so that you can um, go back and watch that if you need help, help there. And then you can reach out for questions if you have any. So let's just talk about some basic um, navigation of the Facebook page so that we're all on the same page and you don't end up lost. So this is a very generic profile that I was lucky to have found um, in the Canva graphics. I was like, wow, cool. I don't even have to like share my stuff. I was like, this is rad. So um, up here, um, it will be like your little picture, right? And your profile here this is um you you know when we say like three little dots these three little dashes are the same kind of a thing that's a menu this takes you to your home feed um I actually don't know what that one is <laughs> record a video so maybe watch videos um the little heart that sometimes shows up only shows up if you are single on Facebook because they have some sort of dating thing I'm not cool with it. <laughs> okay, I don't do that because I'm, yeah. So, and that, but the important things here, here are people that have sent you direct messages and here are your notifications. And then nowadays, this is your picture over here. And this is how you identify if you are on your business profile or your main profile. So we're going to talk a lot about that today. So then there's a whole, on this side, there's a whole bunch of, uh, these These change depending on whose uh, Facebook we're looking at. Um, it kind of depends on what you use and how you use it, how this all shows up on this side. But across the middle here in the middle, these are the stories. So when we talk about stories on Facebook, that's what we're talking about. But when we talk about newsfeed, they're, they're the posts that are underneath the stories. See, I can go back here so you can see that better. So this one. So then you start your scroll, right? That's that's the news feed scroll we're talking about, which is what we're not going to do when we're doing business things is just scroll, okay? Because we're going to um, use purpose. We're going to have purpose when we're on Facebook. It's not it's not just Facebook tune out time. And what does that mean? We're going to check out the algorithm because that's always like the scary word when we talk about Facebook and social media is the algorithm. So let's um, let's take a little bit um, bit of that. When you um, why would you want to worry about this at all? Um, there are two point nine billion people on Facebook worldwide and two. 244.58 million of them are in the U.S. 93% of marketers use Facebook and 93.7% of businesses use Facebook as well. So it's important to have a, a business presence on Facebook. So that's what we're talking about here. So let's, let's see what we're doing. So 
what are the factors that influence the news feed? This is like, right? This, these are the things you want to know, right? The number of likes and comments, shares and reactions that posts receive. So that's post engagement. Um, and then relevancy, the relevancy of the post to the user based on the past interactions, interests, and connections. So they are gauging how relevant your content is to the people that are seeing it. So it's interesting. It's very interesting. <laughs> and then they, um, and this is something that I'm ready to up our game on here too, is the different kinds of posts, because we've definitely um, in the last year have assaulted the market with um, video posts, but maybe now we're going to start to mix in some different content. So um Oh, I didn't realize the word links was in there. That's a no. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, but different post formats. Um, and the reason why we don't do links is because anytime you share a link that allows people to click off of Facebook in your main post, of, your main feed post, Facebook just tanks your algorithm. You back, you start back down at zero. And you don't want to do all this hard work showing up every day and then just one thing tank your algorithm. So don't do that. We only put links in the comments. And if you're just tuning in to me, you will hear me say this a lot because it is one of the biggest mistakes I see when we've worked really hard on algorithms is that link to a YouTube video, right? You think so innocently like but none of them do. I even looked it up for LinkedIn, same. They don't want you to take a link that put, takes them off of their platform. So only in the comments, it doesn't seem to affect the algorithms at all if we put them in the comments. So it's still available for people, but you have to interact with it. So post engagement, the number of likes, comments, shares a post received, the relevancy of the post to the users. All right, post types and time. The um, recent posts tend to be prioritized over, over older posts to ensure freshness of the algorithm, which is something that you can actually do is go, if you don't have a post for that day or you're just like running really busy, is going back and commenting on something else, you something in your past, and it pops it to the top of your algorithm. So um, instead of when you have your memories come up and you have a memory that you want to share, if you just go in and type a comment there, it'll pop it to the top of your algorithm and it doesn't do anything negative to your algorithm. There's something weird happens when we share the memory. Uh, it's weird. But the, the importance of engagement um, Posts that generate likes, comments, shares, and reactions are more likely to be shown to a broader audience. So the more likes and shares and comments you have, the more people they're going to show it to. Um, encouraging uh, meaningful interactions. This is where I'm like, hey, give a three to five word comment. This is where I've said, ask a question. Um, these conversation chats back and forth within the feed from your post, boost it up. So every time you go in and you um, give love to somebody that gave love to you on your post and you write a little note to them, it boosts you up. So it was my son's birthday. So of course his birthday post always gets a lot of interaction. He has a lot of people that love him. He's been around here now for 18 years. So <laughs> people tend to know him, right? And he's not the adorable little baby pictures anymore, but <laughs> um, a lot of people wanted to wish him happy birthday. So in order to utilize that post to keep my algorithm up, um, when I go in and respond to people, I'll do three to five people at a time. So when a post goes really gangbusters, like people are responding to it. When you respond back, only respond to three to five people at a time in that post. And then what happens is you can go back in like a half hour, 45 minutes, an hour, and then again, respond to them. You're actually 
telling the Facebook algorithm this post is even more important. More people are loving this. We're having more and more interactions with this post. So it actually boosts it up to encourage it to go to more and more people. Ooh. What on earth are you going to post on Facebook? That is always a question we get. So Charlie and I did a whole episode back that on season four. We're on season seven. So this has been out for that we don't use anything different than we used back then. Um, so uh, that's season four, episode 34. Um, how do how to do your social media planning. So again, dropping the links for that um, down below. And then of course, asking questions, totally available for that. Just schedule a meeting, 15 minutes. We bet we can get any question answered. All right, building your audience and increasing your page likes. Um, I wrote down some notes over here. Um, oh, some strategies for building our um, Facebook page. Let's see, I actually have notes today. <laughs> Just professional today. So when we're building our algorithm, we want to, um, the reasons why, okay, breath. The daily method of operation starts with Say happy birthday to people because you don't want to forget them, right? And then it says that you can add five people and delete five people. And that's scary for some people. But what it does is it tells Facebook that you want to grow and lets Facebook know that you're willing to get rid of some people on your list too. So it creates this movement in your flow. And that can be going through your your um, friends list and deleting people that are no longer active. You know, I'm not saying delete your mom. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying, you know, people that aren't being active on Facebook or it's an old account they don't use that actually holds your algorithm kind of in place. Like it's like a tether, like, okay, so this person's not going to ever interact with me because it, they're not a thing. But when you release that and you get somebody new that might interact with you now it, it kind of puts you up God, I like my hand movements here <laughs> it lifts you up in the algorithm <laughs> so I that that's that's why the daily method of operation is so amazing and incredible um I want everyone today to write down your Facebook insights we will be talking about that um, on episode 51, and today is episode 39. So in four weeks, we're going to talk about comparing those insights. And if you don't have them, you can't compare them. So write them down so that we have them to talk about. So you can see the difference in growth from applying new strategies. Let's see. Do you have any? Write down your numbers. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. How do I know what profile I'm on and why do I care? <laughs> so if you have a business page, they did this amazing update that was supposed to make things better for us as businesses, but it's really confusing. <laughs> so um, your picture on your profile, I recommend not having the exact same picture for your business profile because that's how I know. If I'm on our business profile or I'm on my personal profile. So then I look to see who is in the upper right hand corner. Is it me or my business? If it's my business, then I know I'm on my business profile. So when we share things from our business profile to groups, we can only share to groups that our business is part of. But if we change back it to ourselves and go to our business page and share to groups, we have access to all the groups that we use, not as our business, right? So if we've joined a bunch of businesses as ourselves, we may, you know, that ha and we are making content that's appropriate to share to those businesses. 
you know, those groups, then <laughs> it depends on which profile. So that's why it's important. Just depends. So take a look and see what, what, um, who you're logged in as at the app moment. And if you go to your messages from your business, it takes you to the meta site. So that's usually a big red flag, like that I'm in my business site <laughs> then instead. All right, let's see. I think that is where we had for today. Um, I, if you need any help with this stuff, uh, in case you can't tell, I absolutely am in love with this stuff. Um, and I just adore doing it and working with it. So I'm always available to answer questions. Um, and thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste. Mm -hmm. The Marysville Police Foundation is a 501c3 organization to support these areas of the Marysville Police Department, law enforcement, officer wellness, and the community outreach programs and activities. We take the mystery and pain out of social media consistency for your business, giving you back time to shine in your zone of genius. Social media is the new branding. It deserves its own attention, thought, and effort. Yet so few businesses actually take this seriously and invest enough time on their strategy. We can do it for you at an affordable rate that will fit into your budget and allow you to pursue other revenue channels as well. The hardest part of social media management is keeping up the consistency to be seen and know what to post, when to post. Are you ready to have everything ready to go for you? saving you time and energy by not having to do it all yourself, still getting your message out so that people get to know you, like you, and develop trust while opening yourself up to more time for the business of your business where you shine. Working with Women in Leadership, BSMB LLP, is a unique experience that bridges the gap from face-to-face -to, -face to virtual relationship marketing. Not only do we love to help you shine in on social media, we love to share tools to help you grow with us, body, soul, mind, and business. Check out our podcast and YouTube channel for Mindset Mondays, Social Media Training Wednesdays, business interviews and special topics on Fridays, and weekly readings on Sundays. To schedule your consultation or podcast interview, head to our website, www.womeninleadershipbsmb.com. Our weekly readings on Sunday, our podcast Mindset Monday, social media, social media training with Heather on Wednesdays with a live Q&A, guest interviews, and special topics on Fridays. Thank you for joining us. Find out more and schedule with us online at www.womeninleadershipbsmb.com, where you have a spot at the table.